How about today we start with playing game? Hmm, like this idea. We shall start with that there. Uh, you know what? My character's name is Ziggy, he's the coolest. It's feeling, feeling good here, baby. Let's do this. Oh yes, we have microphone and we have other microphone with two audio sources. One of them is my lustrous, beautiful, mellifluent voice. The other is the sound of this boring game here. What is this? Oh. Coming back from Burning Man, not exactly 100% healthy here. Okay, works that time. Okay, good. Here we go. Okay, make new character. Jim Jim is a great guy. Look at uh, look how great this Jim guy is. He's beautiful. Oh my god, I kinda wanna recreate Jim just the way he is. It's freaking awesome. Look at those strong pectoral muscles. Okay, how about this? Um We shall name this character De De Dick? Dick, you know, like Richard? How about Richard? Here we go. Uh, Dick the woman. No? How about, how about Dick the woman? Okay. Look at this, I have my drink to drink when I'm ready to drink. Okay, Dick, let's do this. Oh, check this out, check this out. Up here. And this secret little box where you can grab some gold every time. Yeah. Secret gold every time. Every time you come there, something else to grab. Little bug fix was making it so the gold usually doesn't fall off the edge anymore. Okay, let's find some gold here. Look at that, there's some gold near the edge. I'm just gonna keep hitting this. Look at that. Oh, the gold's not falling off the edge once. Wow. I'm impressed. Alright, that worked pretty, pretty well. My character Dick is doing quite well here. Good job, Dick. Blinkin! Hey, Blinkin! Viewer, help me out there, person watching this on YouTube or whatever. Show me. Tell me how to make this game a success for years to come. That's what I want. There's to be that evergreen video game. The thing that you keep on playing. You keep on catching your interest. I know I played this whole dungeon here, but I'm just playing it again to see if I can find the other relic. Oh, hey, well, here we go. Here it is. All right, here, there, what we get? Ooh, EXP booster. We're gonna go up levels so fast now. Okay, oh hello, hey, uh, ho. So, if you're just coming to this stream recently, hello, my name's Wizard Fu, aka Nathaniel Weiss. I just came back from vacation. I was at Burning Man, it was an excellent time. I got sick though. I'm at about 70%, let's say. Mostly recovered. Thankfully, not COVID. Very cool, no COVID here. Um, oh yeah, buy some of this health. We're playing a game called Wraithbinder here. Been making this game for the last few years. It's getting close to being released now. At this point, we're going to be making some announcements and stuff like that this month. So pay close attention. Ooh, hey, we're gonna get the Skybot ability this dungeon. This game, Wraithbinder, is a roguelike. More of a roguelite, but let's not get too technical, shall we? It's a roguelike game with Metroidvania elements. What that means is that um, as you play it, you gain abilities, and as you gain abilities, they allow you to progress further into the world. There's gated progression. That's what, that's what that's called, gated progression. Metroidvania elements. That's what this game is. And it has multiplayer. So you're able to play this co-op with your friends. And there's a PvP mode. Whoa. All sorts of abilities you get here in Wraithbinder. There's like, uh, there's an. I just got the Skybot ability, which means I can build stuff. Uh, there's also the Wraith Binding ability, hence the name Wraithbinder. And uh, the Wraith Binding ability allows you to 
um, take your the foes that you have defeated and bind them as a wraith so you can um, they're now sort of like you're you're like a necromancer almost you take their their ghost and turn it into a, a an ally oh hey there's the key all right let's buy that yeah, and then we got a key. We can get through that door now. Sweet. Let's see what's in this door. Oh, we need some kind of explosive ability to get past that guy there. Okay. One thing I'm noting here is that it is quite a bit tedious to build one bridge at a time. It'd be nice if bridges were like five blocks at a time, at least. What time was it? Oh my god. How long has it been? Oh my god. How many times have I died? Oh my god, it's taking far too long. Oh, sweet! Mini boss! I f oh, this is so awesome. Forgot about this guy. Yes! Check it out, this is such a cool fight with the, with the, um... Lightning. Because lightning chains to nearby foes, so... You hit, like, one, um... One spider and it hits all the spiders! Yeah! This is such a cool fight. Am I dying fast? No, I'm actually living. Oh, sweet. I'll use some of my own. Oh, I might have burnish. Oh! That's right! I made it so. Whenever you're using an element. So, I've got this relic called the ice. Or sorry, the lightning cube. What that means is that I have a chance to do lightning on every attack. Which, you know, you could use your. Um, I can use my boomerang to attack, and that has a chance to do lightning. Or I can use my uh, blade to attack, and that also has a chance to do lightning. But whenever I'm using lightning, I'm eating up my matter points, the blue stuff in the bottom right there. So that means that I, um, it's resource management, right? You got to be smart about uh, what you're using. Oh, sweet, yes, that was fun. That was really cool. I'm so excited. I added a little mini boss in recently. That was super fun. Yeah. Yeah, so basically what I was saying there is that lightning uses up your matter points. So does using like your blink ability. This little blink right here is using up a little bit of matter. Um, so does your skybot building buildings, right? That just uses a little bit of matter right there. Everything uses a little bit of matter. So you gotta be smart about what, you're, what abilities you're using. These guys are big. I wish I had the Wraith of Binding ability right now because I could turn these guys into allies. But that's the thing about Wraithbinder. The order of the abilities that you get in the world is totally dependent on your world seed. Your world seed is random every time, you don't even choose it. So you're just playing a brand new world every time you play this. But in theory, you could play the same world twice if you could set the world seed. Charge. I need my, oh right, where's this charge ability? Where are you, charge ability? Oh, I got some other stuff I could build with my Skybot. Um, mines, here we go. Build a mine. Yeah, boom. Build another mine. Boom. My mines. That's a cool one. Oh, this is a rare item. Oh my god, that is a ton of lightning. And Vim steel? Cool. And Vim? Damn, this is a badass item. So here's another fact about Wraithbinder. You, so every time you die, you lose all your abilities and you lose half your gold and you start over at the beginning, but you keep all your items. So all of these weapons and armor pieces that I'm gathering here, I get to keep. And I can even sell them for gold if I wanted. Game loop. Where you play through a run, you die, but you, you've you gained a little bit of abilities or some, you've gained something that allows you to be a little more powerful, so next time you attempt a run of the game, you're a little more powerful. It's a little easier to beat the game. And you just keep doing that, and you get grow more and more powerful until, boom, you just beat the game. So the goal of this is to beat the final boss, and if you do that, you win. Oh, definitely equip this baby. Equip. It's a 
badass breastplate there. Whoa. This ability got... There, there, there it is. Yeah. Hold RT to charge. This is a sweet ability. Very powerful attack here. The, the charged attack uses a lot of matter points. But I have a sh shazzle ton. Holy buckles. Look how, look how much matter I have. Just got hit there. Oh, there's a key. I just <laughs> blinked over the door. That was cheating. Totally cheating. Okay, let's let's just stop cheating here. I'm checking our... That. Ducking out of there, baby. Dick is ducking out. We are, we are. We're at the boss. Alright, this is gonna conclude our run. For now. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna fight the boss. We're at Dungeon 6. Whoa. What do we got here? Some more stuff. Get some more stuff before we jump off this ledge. Get some gold, got some light. Here we go. Whoa! whoa. Bam! I love that. Uh, so technically, yes, Zombie Killer, there is an end. So currently, there are 16 dungeons in Wraithbinder. And you fight three bosses along the way. The final boss is supposed to be the real hard one. And so if you beat the final boss, you win. And you, um, that's your victory moment. You return to your ship victorious. And, um, yeah, so technically you can win. And it is not an endless game. Um. Kiting. The age-old kiting trick. The MMO trick of legends. Kiting. Huh. Yeah, right? So how to avoid kiting? AoE attacks, that's a good way to do it. Um, or even just attacks that kind of attack everybody at once. Like maybe... Oh, like this. Like maybe his bow... He's, he's shooting an arrow right now, right? Those are those little things he's doing right there. Maybe the arrow attacks everyone, right? Like, an, whenever he shoots an arrow, it shoots an arrow at every single player. That would definitely affect things. Because, for a good amount of time here, got some notes written down on some new things. Luckily, didn't... didn't actually write down too much notes. Look at that, we only added about nine things today. That's... that's great. For playing the game, only writing down nine things, that's that's really a short list. I love that. That means that the polishing phase of this game is really starting to get more complete, right? Every time before I would I would play the game and I would write down 50 things. Now I'm only writing down nine things. That's great. We're making some progress there on the polish of the video game. So Wraith Binder is gonna be making an announcement this month on when the new beta version is gonna be, or just the beta version is gonna be coming out. So you can help play test Wraith Binder and I'll be making announcements this month on when that's gonna happen. So pay attention to the live streams or my Twitter or whatever. And uh, soon I'll be making that announcement. <laughs>